Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dead 2 here, here to bring you guys my reaction to the final episode of Mirai Nikki or Future Diary. And, yeah, and I guess this could be also be considered as a review. Um, but, yeah, all I gotta say is, this, it was, the last episode, or pretty much the ending of Mirai Nikki, was pretty satisfying. That's, like, the only word I can describe it. Um, I mean, me personally, I actually expected a little, a lot more, but, but as I, but, but after I watched the episode, it was, you know, I was satisfied with the way it ended. Um, we got to see pretty much every diary owner in the third alternate universe of the world. Um, and they're pretty much living up, living happy lives. Like, um, I and Marco, they have a baby coming along the way. Um, Nishijima actually went in and actually won a fucking Minane. And they actually have kids of their own. And I think she's pregnant too. Um, but for some reason, I don't know why, um, the, her kids were floating in the air, but, um, yeah, but, go Nishijima, but anyway, um, and, what do you call it, um, that kid, the fifth diary owner, he was able to live a happy life as a normal kid instead of just being a, like, a, a random ass kid killer, um, and, yeah, and, and Tsubaki pretty much, still live with her parents and her and she never had that quote and her the cult never became what it was in the second universe all corrupt to the point where she got pretty much raped um and then uh i don't know what i just found this one just kind of disgusting apparent i don't know if i'm right about this but that scene where we see um what do you call it eighth and um and john backs 11th the mayor um Apparently, I think they're dating. It seemed like to me what I, it seemed like they were dating, which I was like, ill. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, and then um, <laughs> and then um, the one part, the another part I found funny in this episode was um, when um, I think um, twelfth was visiting um third in jail, and he was like, and he said something along. I don't know if he actually said this. I don't remember if he actually, if, he actually, if these were the exact same words. He said something along the lines of, you come here often even though he's locked up. But, um, um, yeah, and it was actually pretty nice seeing their actual faces because those were the two, the only two diary users that actually covered up their faces. But, um, but yeah, so nice seeing how they actually look like. Um, fourth, um, Corroso, Detective Corroso or Police Corroso, whatever. Um, his son's all right due to because of what Mina they told him about his son having a having a a, a, a disease and something and telling him how to cure it. Um, um, what are what are the diary users? Um, oh yeah, and um, um, what's her name? What Hinata? There we go. Um, Hinata actually starting to get closer to her father than she than she was in the past. By you know actually getting along with the dogs, um, so that was pretty nice to see. And uh, uh, and I believe that was, that's probably other yeah those are pretty much I guess yeah I think I pretty much covered all the diary owners I want to say yeah and it was pretty I think so um, if I did if I missed somebody then let me know in the comment section but. Um, but yeah, and we you know, see Yuki ha living happily with his parents, and he actually, and he's actually going out with that um, that chick that he wanted to get before Yuno know, came in and just interfered with it, interfered with him actually trying to get with that girl. Um, and yeah, and, and like I said, it was a pretty satisfied, satisfying ending. Um, and one, another thing I found kind of hilarious, well not hilarious, hilarious, but it was kind of funny um, when um. We see Yuki, um, he has long ass hair and he was like, it's been 10,000 years since, um, the survival game. And then Mur and Murmur is like, you, Yuki Tedu, I'm bored. I've been reading the same manga. I read the, the ma this manga about 10,000 times now. I was like, get over it, Murmur. <laughs> I don't know why. I just found that kind of funny. Um, and this, yeah, and apparently, you know, pretty much eventually Try, tries or tried or yeah probably broke him out um but but yeah satisfying ending couldn't have this couldn't 
I was like, like, yeah, I was pretty much, you know, satisfied with everything. Like, even though before watching this episode, I thought I expected a lot more to happen for the ending, but, you know, it was an okay ending. Um, so, that's that. And also, um, this was announced, I believe, the Sunday after the final episode aired, apparently after the episode aired in Japan, which was Sunday, um, they, apparently there was an, an, a news announcement saying Future Diary next, Mirai Nikki next project starts. So, I don't know what that's going to be about. Um, I may, maybe, I'm just taking a guess here, maybe it has some, maybe they might, I think they're ne what they mean by next project is they might be adapting I mean, I hope, hopefully, they might be adapting um, Future Diary Paradox. And if you don't know what Future Diary Paradox is, it's pretty much, um, you, it's pretty much, um, Aru Akise as, it's pretty much, yeah, Aru Akise is the main character instead of, Yu, uh, instead of Yuki. And he's pretty much the first diary owner instead of Yuki. So pretty much it's like an, it's like an alternate, I want to say, retelling of Future Diary, only Aru's the main character in the place of Yuki, so... Um, hopefully that will be the next project that they're talking about because Tiger and Bunny had the same has for anyone who watches Tiger and Bunny they pretty much had a similar thing where after the final episode aired they were like next project go and they, then they had that um that um Tiger and Bunny convention where they announced the two movies that they're that they're producing two movies um coming out this year so um hopefully whenever hopefully they'll announce it some hopefully sometime this year what this new this next Mirai Nikki project is I'm hoping I'm I'm hoping it's the um Future Diary Paradox but um but but or hell I'll or hell they might be making the Mirai Nikki movie even though there's really kind of no point of them making a movie I mean they could but it just feel out of place considering the fact that and I mean but then again, Brotherhood ha Brotherhood ended, and then a movie got announced right after it ended, so I don't know. But I can't really see a, a future diary movie. So anyway, um, those are my pretty much my thoughts on. This wasn't really much of a reaction. Just my thoughts on um, on the, the the last episode of Future Diary. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you, what you, what did you guys think about the last episode or the ending of Future Diary. Were you, did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you satisfied satisfied with it like I was? And do you want more Future Diary? Um, let me know in the comment section below. This is the Sensei 782. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully we can expect more Future Diary in the future. Considering the fact that Funimation actually got the additional rights to Future Diary. So we'll be seeing some DVD Blu-ray releases of that hopefully next year. And I definitely will be picking it up. Because Future Diary was one of the many series... I, that just had me on the edge of my seat. I would say Future Diary was probably is probably um, my favorite anime of the fall season from last year. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say that's it's probably because it just it was so interesting. It's just I just kept wanting more more Future Diary every week. So yeah, so if I so without that, I would say Future Diary has, to, in my opinion, was the best anime of the fall fall twenty twenty. 2011 lineup so um and yeah that's <laughs> i thought i had something else to say but apparently i didn't so anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video